This is hydrogen, TAP1, series 3. What we're looking at here is the new series 3 unit built for test. We're looking at plates now. There are 11 plates, 3 inches by 5 and a half inches. It's enclosed in a plastic tube, which is 3 and a half inches across. The white on the top is the hydrogen output port, and the tube on the left, the black, is the water fill port. Everything will be pressure mounted. There's going to be a rubber gasket on the top and a rubber gasket on the bottom. The reason for this unit is to test the theory that we're going to be able to get more hydrogen with less power due to the tube configuration and the close proximity to the tube for the plates. Also testing the theory about the water problems, the discoloration the last three tests we conducted using this configuration, there was no problems with the water. We did not get any discoloration. The present theory about the water has been that the minerals in the water in the chlorine. The last two tests that were performed were with the chlorine still in the water and there was no discoloration. This unit will prove or disprove that. There's more room on the top of the plates in this unit. It gives the gas more ability to expand. There's a good shot of the electrode entry points. They go through those rubber hoses and they'll be sealed by tie wraps on the bottom. The rubber hoses are pressure forced into the bottom. It's a good view of the electrodes on the top. Positive electrodes are on one side of the plates. The negative electrodes come in on the other side. We're using alternate positive, negative, positive, negative. There are no neutral plates in this system. be two sensors in this unit. Water fill high mark, water fill low mark. As you can see the rubber band around the electrodes, that's so that when you push the electrodes fitting in that tube, they don't come off. One of the problems I've had is the fit is so close that when you push the plates into that tube, we some of the electrodes off. This is a temporary fix. It works.